All right, welcome back to Morning Live. As you can see, the trophy is here, the National Super League trophy, and congratulations to Wazito FC. They won the title, and of course, they qualified to the Kenyan Premier League next season. And with me in studio, I'm joined by Solomon Alubala, who is the founder and sporting director at Wazito FC. Trust me now, there's a year they went to KPL, it was baptism by fire, they went down again to NSL, but right now, the back, and of course, they look scary. They're actually scaring big boys here at KPL. So, congratulations once again, but again, Solomon, good morning. Good morning. Congrats again for winning the NSL title. Thank you. And uh, this has been a journey for you guys, and I believe um, KPL is here. Of course, guys, so your new bus. <laughs> Congrats again for the new bus. Thank you. But thank looking you, at this you. season... Just to sum it up before now we go to other questions, other maybe conversations here in studio. How has it been for you guys? It's been a tough season. Very competitive. I, actually, if you look at it, um, we've lost uh, nine games. Yeah. Uh, we've had three draws. So that tells you that uh, it's not been an easy okay. season. Mm -hmm. uh, we've had tough competition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you can see, we've only won the league by one point. One point. Yes. That was tight. That Very was tight. tight. That was tight. Wow. Very tight. Even scary at the same time. Exactly. Now, um, the season itself, um, what did you learn from the relegation from KPL? Um, the relegation actually came with a lot of lessons. The first thing is we were relegated mainly because of... Uh, we didn't really plan for the KPL okay. because of uh, financial constraints. Okay. That's the main reason as to why... Um, we were relegated okay. and uh, it was very painful because by when we qualified for the KPL in 2017, we had high expectations and uh, at that point the league had two main sponsors. Mm -hmm. That was uh, Supersport and, uh, and uh, Sport Pesa. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, the Supersport pulled out. Yeah, yeah. It then a big, Sports big, big destruction, yes. actually. Yeah. Then Sport Pesa mm -hmm. uh, also uh, withdrew mm -hmm. briefly mm -hmm. because of the tax issue. Yeah, yeah. Then they came back yeah. with a small offer yeah, yeah, sure. on the table. Mm -hmm. So that meant that, you see, when we were doing the budgeting for the 2017, we had already factored in the fact that we had uh, the sponsorship Both sides, yeah, sure. funds coming in. Mm -hmm. But um, without the sponsorship funds yeah. Yeah. were actually uh, mm -hmm. left mm -hmm. uh, hanging. Mm -hmm. so that's the main reason as to why, mm -hmm. uh, from a financial point of view, actually in a disarray. Okay. And you couldn't actually really plan for the season. Wow. Now, yeah. um, this is generic talk. Uh, that, uh, you, you go to the drawing board. Lazima wasewa Rudy or Jipange. Now, back to NSL. Very competitive, by the way. I can, uh, no offense, but I can talk uh, maybe on behalf of Ushuru. Like they yeah. went to NSL, it's been very difficult for them to come back. Now, look at the pedigree. Even the new teams coming in, like Kisumu All-Stars. For God's sake, where did they come from? Like, these guys have been beating people left, right, centre. Now, give us an, an example, maybe, before you talk about Wazito. Kisumu, what do you think about that team? First of all, let me con congratulate them mm -hmm. for, for winning. Absolutely. And uh, what people may not know is um, the, the current coach of uh, Kisumu All-Stars, mm -hmm was actually uh, yeah. groomed by Wazito. Wow, interesting, FC. interesting. So that is, uh, he was part of the uh, winning team mm -hmm. in 2017 okay. that actually took. So looking at it, most likely one of the things that perhaps the Francis Odor actually borrowed from us mm -hmm. was just the mental resilience. Okay. Because we were more or less in the same position yeah, sure. as Kisumu All-Stars mm -hmm. in 2017. Mm -hmm. We were one of those teams that... Um, if you look at the top five teams in NSL uh, in 2017, yeah. were the only team that actually did not have a sponsor okay. on okay. board. Okay. So, uh, and I think Kisumu a bit lucky mm -hmm. that in the last uh, couple of matches, mm -hmm. they've had sponsorship yeah. from uh, the county yeah. and the support from it. Okay. So, so it's a good story. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we've been there. Okay. Before, yeah. So the only difference is, I think Kisumu All Stars also has mm -hmm. a bit of a history. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's an old name in okay. Kenyan football. Although okay. I know there's a bit of change in ownership okay. from uh, Palos. Okay. So so it's a surprise package in a good way. Okay. It just shows amazing. that uh, you need more of uh, mm. the mental. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, that's amazing. Um, now looking back uh, to uh, Wazito's history, this club started as a, a students' team, University of Nairobi. Wow. 
So, and to this extent where by now, um, as maybe old boys of the campus of, of, the, of, the, of the university came together through the team, maybe you can tell us more about now the principles that guided you to be where you are right now. The main reason as to why we came up with the concept of Wazito was just to bring a bit of change in Kenyan football. Because mm -hmm. uh, we've been doing things in a certain way and uh, that's how we are used to doing things. Okay. And uh, it meant that if you look at uh, the big teams in, in, in the country, mm -hmm. then you'll realize that actually we've not really progressed from a, from a management point of view. Mm -hmm. And the main reason as to why was it was formed is because we wanted to make a mark in Kenyan football, okay. professionalize the sport. Mm -hmm. Because I think anyone who wants to invest in football at the moment will be a bit hesitant uh, because you're thinking, okay, wait a minute, where are the opportunities? Okay. Uh, soccer is an industry. Mm -hmm. It is. So sure. we started from that premise. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I think uh, when uh, uh, Ricardo came on board, yeah, yeah. he's just actually making us realize uh, things that you had already put down yeah. on Absolutely. paper. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, let's talk about Ricardo. Maybe uh, tell us the story. H how did you meet Ricardo? <laughs> um, the Wazito story is an interesting one. Yeah. Even before you come to Ricardo, yeah. we've had uh, one or two other interests okay. before. Okay. I think mainly it's because of the brand that we had built over time. Okay. Uh, and right also, also the, even the structures, you guys were very exactly. organized actually. Yeah. So all, the th all we were selling was a professional structure. Mm -hmm. And uh, it so happened that uh, there was a gentleman who was in uh, uh, Dubai who happened to have been scouting for business opportunities in Af East Africa. And uh, I'll, I'll say by, by, by sheer luck, we were one of those teams that were approached and uh, we pitched our value proposition to, okay. to Ricardo uh, through some uh, agency mm -hmm. that, that was shopping around for a team. Mm -hmm. I think one or two other teams had been approached. So the issue was uh, who actually was uh, selling a better value proposition. Okay. And was Zito was an easy sell to, uh -huh. to him. That was uh, last year, um, February last okay. year. Mid, okay. mid okay. February last year. Amazing. Yes. So um, coming back to this season, um, you know at some point when NSL starts, it's so competitive. Uh, looking at uh, young boys like Akamega High School, the Green Commandos were in the picture, good, 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 good uh, readings, of course, uh, they're relegated, but of course they lived for another day. Um, when the season was starting, uh, you, you, you fumbled a little bit. I mean, things were not going your way. And uh, you know, sometimes um, Ricardo can maybe just trying to flex his muscles on social media, uh, guys were kind of scared. And then all of a sudden, you picked up. And it's culminating also with a title and a new bus. Wow, state of the art bus for that matter. <laughs> uh -huh. I don't think you really fumbled. Huh? Mm -hmm. We're on course. Okay. If you look at it, uh, I think the least position we've, we've held was uh, position four. And position four. if you look at the margin in terms of the points, okay. it, it's not that much. But I understand in terms of where uh, Ricardo is coming from. Mm -hmm. It's just a question of uh, uh, being a perfectionist. You want okay. to actually make sure that yeah. things are going yeah. the right way, mm -hmm. which was the right move for us. Because okay. at some point, is, uh, you know, when you're at the top of the league, you might tend to uh, slacken a bit. Okay. And it has happened, I think, to uh, some of the teams mm -hmm. in the recent past. Okay. I think, as you've mentioned, maybe maybe, yeah. maybe sometimes with sure. mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's just a question of um, him trying to instill more of uh, the resilience okay. within the boys. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and I'm glad that the boys actually responded uh, okay. positively. Okay. Wow, yes. interesting. Now, looking also at the technical bench, there's some changes also. Yeah, in the mid-season. Yes, there mm -hmm. were changes. Yeah. We needed experience mm -hmm. uh, at that point. We needed um, uh, cool nerves. Okay. Yeah, those are the main reasons as to why actually we made the changes to ensure okay. that uh, we were more focused. Okay. And uh, I'm glad that uh, we brought in uh, uh, Stanley Okumbi, okay. who has actually given us invaluable experience. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. we, we, we were really grateful for him. Wow. And also Hamisi Mohammed. Okay. So together with Fred Ambani, mm -hmm. they, they've done a good job. Amazing. Yes. Amazing job they've done. Yeah. Now, um, uh, is there any fear that you'll be losing some players? You know, at the end of the day, uh, we have preferences. But at the, at the moment, Wazito looks organized. 
it looks kind of a this lucrative side that I don't I, I might not want to leave. But there are some players who might be maybe attracted to other teams. What do you think about this? It's 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 normal in football mm -hmm. that uh, you'll actually uh, your best players will be targeted. Okay. So it's very normal, mm -hmm. uh, but we'll deal with it. Okay. Um, I think you know the boys are celebrating. Yeah. So yeah. now the and so that's even some of them are kind of <laughs> could make it here. The now morning. the yeah. responsibility is all on uh, me mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, with the help of Ricardo to ensure that we. Sure actually sustain and retain our best players okay but at the same time you also go for some uh, good talent to, okay. to beef up the squad amazing squares. amazing yes okay something else is um you know they, they always say kpl is a different just setup you know nsl might be competitive fast paced and everything but kpl is a different setup will it be will it maybe be just kind of to strengthen up your squad will you be getting other players from other teams because right now any player who's approached to Juno Zito, it's so tempting. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it's so tempting. Yeah. You, you know, football is a, is a competitive game. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you look at it, we have a um, performance management contract in okay. place. Mm -hmm. So, and, and uh, we're one of those teams that actually has uh, more or less uh, operated on a rotational basis. Okay. And we've given each and every other player an opportunity to showcase his uh, talent. Okay. Uh, but at the end of the day, we've had a squad that actually has uh, given us the honours and taken us to the league. Okay. So it is normal that we will have to uh, keep on improving on the okay. squad. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, uh, there are people who will actually uh, be going out okay. and we'll have to be getting in fresh blood that will actually give us uh, an mm. edge. Because okay. the reality is um, there's a lot of expectations for okay. us okay. and uh, we have to get into KPL to, to compete for the Absolutely. title. Absolutely. So soon yeah. you might be getting to know who will be coming in, will be going out. Anyway, that's a good question will be coming to you after a short break because now Alubal will be telling us uh, what kind of players they'll be uh, maybe um, kind of just following up through because at the end of the day, experience, KPL experience is very important. NSL is a different ball game, but KPL so. Who will they be getting on board? That's actually what we need to know after the break. So stay tuned to Morning Live. Welcome back to Morning Live. Yes, Solomon Albala is here in studio, founder and of course director, um, sports director of Zito FC. Congratulations again to them. They've won the NSL title and automatically promoted to the Kenya Premier League next season. But now, you know, Kenya Premier League is a different ball game. Who will they be facing? They will face the likes of AFC Leopards, Gol Mahia, Tasca, Sofa Parker, name all those teams. And these are big boys in the league. So they must shop around. Solo. I'm very sure you're shopping around. I'm so sure you're shopping around. <laughs> Who are the names? Give us the names. One of the players you want to bring on board, two, three players. I know you'll skip that question, but still. <laughs> yeah. What I can tell you is um, football is more or less a bit predictable. Okay. And uh, in terms of uh, our star players and uh, in terms of our retention, Anyone can give a guess because we've had a team that actually has given us a trophy. Okay. Maybe over the past ten or so games. Mm -hmm. So that would give you an indicative, an indication of uh, the players that actually you're going to retain. Because mm -hmm. the first thing is you have to retain an engine that is working. Sure. Then thereafter, now we beef up. Okay. Uh, what I can tell you is actually you're targeting. Uh, uh, one of the top strikers in, in the country. That, okay. that, that is uh, for sure. Um, we we are also looking at the defense, mm -hmm. and uh, we are beefing up uh, with the with the one or two of uh, the top defenders currently. Mm -hmm. We're just waiting maybe for the Afcon to end. Then he, perhaps we can have a uh, a deal. Who are, <laughs> Who are these guys? I can't give you the names at the moment <laughs> because. Um, It'll yeah, be, it might I have spoil to, the game for your the, games. The, yeah, there, sure. there, are three, mm -hmm. there are three elements to it. You know, when you're actually looking for player transfers, is the question of you agreeing the personal terms with yeah, the player. Sure. You have to talk to the club as well. Yeah. And in fact, today I'll be busy um, Shopping um, making formal requests oh, okay. 
to the clubs, okay. uh, asking them and telling them, listen, mm -hmm. I am keen on signing uh, the following player. Okay. So that's the job actually I'll be doing. Wow. By the end of the day, I'll have wow. uh, submitted uh, okay. interests in players, and then we can have a conversation uh, on who comes in. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I'll be very coy on the names, basically just for the sake of uh, uh, respecting the 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 other teams. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But 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 the fans can expect uh, some excitement. Wow, interesting. So yeah. uh, I I still like maybe you're targeting a top top striker in this country. You're targeting top defenders in this country. Exactly. Okay. Yes. So that means you're serious about KPL now. Yes. Wow. Okay. Now, looking at yesterday's game, we're about to get the highlights in a few. Um, Vaithira and uh, top scorer, uh, no, actually hat trick hero in that game. Yeah. Um, we expect maybe St. Joseph's could have put a fight in this, but seven is a lot. How did you manage to now prepare for that game? The, the boys really wanted to get into KPL, and. Uh, mm -hmm. We actually got a beating from uh, Nairobi's team, that was 5-3, five, five, okay. uh, I think a week ago. And I could tell that the boys were very bitter mm -hmm. about themselves. And uh, they gave us a good response okay. when we were playing Talanta. Because mm -hmm. remember, we've beat Talanta 4. And uh, it should be remembered that at some point we also beat uh, Kisumu All-Stars 4 okay. uh, in a match where I actually lost points. Okay. Um, We've also beat, beat another team, for example, Costima 5, mm -hmm. uh, Police 5. So that should give you an indication of uh, the momentum that you actually have gained in the second leg. Okay. And uh, so yesterday, uh, it was easy because the question was, mm -hmm. how fast uh, can we score? That's and right. uh, it's always been easy for us when we score mm -hmm. uh, in the early minutes. Okay. So yesterday's game, I can't really say it was an easy game, but... Okay. Um, but uh, the boys are just fired up. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Now, um, the game itself, St. Joseph's, of course, they look like um, they know who they are facing. There's some some mental uh, kind of no 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 not disability, but there's some there's some shakiness in it also. Uh, did you did you understand the dynamics of that game in the back of your mind? We lose this, and then Nairobi Steamer, uh, Kisumu All Stars win their game. It's a bit tricky. We are very much aware mm -hmm. that. Uh, the only difference between us and uh, our opponents was one point. One point, yeah. So, and defending one point mm -hmm. meant that we actually had to score yeah. and uh, win the St. Joseph's games. Mm -hmm. So, the preparation was uh, nothing less than a win. Okay. Uh, as simple as that. Because mm -hmm. uh, we didn't want to put ourselves in a situation whereby you actually are uh, depending on uh, the results for other teams. Okay. Yes. Okay. Interesting. Now, looking at also the league, um, th th there's an aspect of playoff also coming through. And uh, you see, post Rangers will have to face who will, will, they, who will they be facing? Nairobi Steamer. Nairobi Steamer. Yes. Now, looking at Nairobi Steamer's quality compared to post Rangers, do you think Nairobi Steamer will hack? I think the it'll, it'll be a tough match. Okay. It'll be a tough match. Mm -hmm. uh, that I can assure you. Okay. Yeah, I don't think Nairobi Steamer has finished number three by by accident. Okay. They've actually fought for it and they have a good squad. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, if you look at it, for instance, the top scorer of the league okay. happens to be in the Nairobi Steamer okay. uh, league. So I'm, I, I'm sure that um, they're going to show that uh, NSL is very competitive. Okay. Uh, I think the difference now will be who is actually uh, mentally prepared for prepared. that game. Sure. It's just a question of who uh, has the mental resilience yeah. uh, to carry the day. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so, so Posta should not take it easy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Now, um, y you've also come up with an online TV whereby it's called Mad God, uh, yes. led by Mr. Uh, Tony Munyao himself. Yes. Now, um, yeah, I see you guys maybe having, you know, in England we have Manchester United TV. We have Chelsea TV, we have uh, Arsenal TV, we have all these Liverpool, all these big TV stations uh, owned by the teams. Now, um, this is a project you're starting that no one expected, and it's picking up so fast. Mad good. Um, anyone who uh, has been keen to follow Azito, I think uh, from uh, around 2014, 2015, you realize that some of these things actually were on paper mm -hmm. uh, when we went for club licensing in. Uh, uh, 2015, um, I remember we outlined our vision okay. and uh, part of it was uh, to have a TV, 
uh, station part of it was to have um, uh, Wazitom shop, okay. uh, the stadium, and uh, I'm glad that uh, beyond that we've even uh, we are now talking about uh, having a bus. Wow. So so so, um, as I mentioned, we sold a value proposition to to Ricardo, who easily bought into it and knew that he was dealing with uh, uh, people who knew exactly uh the direction they <coughs> wanted to go mm -hmm. so it was an easy sell so it becomes easy for him actually to uh implement uh, the type of things that we had already put on paper yeah, yeah. so that's the reason why you're seeing madgo tv mm -hmm. and 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 you know the beauty about it is if you look at it football is competitive yeah and uh, perhaps one of the biggest attraction for the players who are coming in right now yeah. is the reality that you'll have uh tv production with us people can get your clips and uh you'll actually more or less have majority of mm -hmm. the games being shown and it's easy for us to sell these mm -hmm. players outside mm -hmm. so it's a question of us yes uh, improving mm -hmm. our own brand but at mm -hmm. the same time also exposing the talent okay. that you have on the field okay so anyone who's looking to get into azito mm -hmm. you might perhaps uh, look at it as a, a big selling point for okay Okay. For, for yourself. So stadium coming soon? Stadium, yes, in the yeah. pipeline. Okay. We're actually just uh, um, looking at the question of uh, finalizing uh, the land transactions and okay. all that. Okay. You know, it, it, it's a process that takes time uh -huh. in, in, in Kenya. Yeah. You know, le let me tell you something about Kenyan uh, football enthusiasts. Uh, you mentioned a bus. Uh, guys, guys said, ah, this case won't even buy a bus. The bus is here. Now, Ricardo, yes. via his Twitter page, um, kind of gave a sample of the style the stadium will look. The guy said, ha, okay, stadium. Mm, Akuna, isn't it much too? So, now, is this a reality or maybe we'll be seeing a, a situation whereby even the Kenyan government, they promised us five stadiums. Now, Ricardo, yeah. will you guys do it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I think we've been more or less been um, making a reality of everything that we okay. yeah, we've actually put on paper. Okay. And, uh, you know, people need to realize and look at the trend in the world of football. Okay. Because what's happening is you look at the likes of Manchester, Arsenal, they've actually been bought by uh, persons who are yeah. able to actually fund. It's true that. So it means that uh, people are seeing business sense in it. Mm -hmm. So if you look at uh, Ricardo coming in, in Kenya, mm -hmm. perhaps what Kenyans should be looking at is, wait a minute, how can you attract five of these guys? Yeah. So that you support the, mm -hmm. the football. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it's not a thing that has not been planned. Mm -hmm. He didn't just wake up and say, you know what, I'm just going to to do this. No, no, no. It's okay. something that has actually been planned and we have a mm -hmm. uh, more or less five, ten year mm -hmm. plus plan okay. for it. So, uh, so so, fans should expect it. Mm -hmm. yes. there's, there's a question on Twitter uh, by Ndayan Villager who asks you, who's asking actually, that um, how will you be able to sustain the players in KPL? Mm -hmm. Will Ricardo still be around? It's a, it's a very powerful. I don't know why. I don't know why he's asking the <laughs> maybe consistency of Ricardo. Or maybe maybe what he wants to know is, is he, will he be around for quite some time? Ricardo is actually uh, the majority owner of Wazito. Mm -hmm. so, so, so that means he's more or less the owner okay. of Wazito. Okay. So that tells you that uh, he's here to stay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And he has other business interests in Kenya okay. where he actually has uh, invested. Mm -hmm. uh, you see, including Madgo TV. Okay. So it tells you that actually he's setting his uh, base in Kenya. Okay. Yes. Okay. Interesting. Keep letting my good preso. I don't know where <laughs> this guy's come from anyway. He's asking, uh, Solo, who are the players you want to sign? Wow. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> yeah, I know you can't mention that on air. But still, yeah. um, just to answer you, he's mentioned that uh, he'll be signing a top striker from a top KPL team. Be also signing uh, two top defenders from top KPL teams. So for yourself, you know top K who top KPL teams are. Our question here from a gentleman, um, Yegon Imano, uh, aka Certified Story, says, uh, "Well done, Wazito. We are happy you've done it once again. But will you have you learned the lessons f or of relegation the other season?" Yes, I, I think as I mentioned, is you know we went up and uh, we had actually not planned. Eh? Okay. So this time round. Uh, expect uh, a huge difference mm -hmm. 
in our performance in okay. KPL. Okay. Asan Gidraf says, uh, Wazito FC, congratulations, welcome to KPL. Uh, Debbie Ragosa, KPL here, we're coming. Wazito, and of course, that, that's a big one. And uh, there's no one, there's, of course, um, even Stanley Okumbi. Now, David Mainandungu, Wazito FC, win the first ever National Super League. Is it the first ever? I don't think so. No, no, no. the first ever. Yeah, I don't know the first ever. But still, now, um, seems like everyone is happy for you guys. Now, Thank um, you. will you see, the, the talk of swag and glamour for KPL? You know, we used to, uh, uh, trust me, I can give you a short story what happened a few weeks ago where we had a Mount Kenya um, going to Lindsay in Nakuru to play a match, but they had the same colors of uniform. Uh, look <laughs> at the organization also. Mount Kenya United, they were at some point taken by uh, politicians to run the, mm -hmm. the, the team. But it's crumbled. They're relegated and they're out. Look at that. Now, situational, but you have even differences in situational um, kind of just um, awareness and also just trying to be disciplined. Do you think we'll be having such seasons <coughs> for Zito? You, you know, first of all, I, I must say that um, I respect the individuals actually who take time and their resources to invest in football in Kenya. Yeah. Because if you look at it uh, from a sponsorship point of view, it's, it's very difficult to convince corporates to come into Kenya yeah. football. Yeah. But yeah. perhaps with time, uh, the dynamics will change and we'll be able to, to, to actually attract more of the local sponsors in, in Kenyan football. Mm -hmm. So having said that, there are difficulties also because uh, of the way our model of football has actually been been over the f years in that uh, people are actually not getting returns from yeah. from football yeah. so yeah. i would understand the mount kenya situation because actually we've also struggled financially mm -hmm. so it's unfortunate that they had to be relegated uh, mm -hmm. on, on on those grounds mm -hmm. but you know the question now many of the kenyan clubs should be asking themselves uh, maybe borrowing a leaf from where our Zito is coming from. Yeah. Isn't it time for us to package ourselves yeah. and uh, maybe get foreign investors to come in? Yeah. Maybe that could be the solution mm -hmm. going forward so that we we, we, we actually not just uh, relying on the locals. Mm -hmm. Maybe when the local um, sponsors actually uh, realize that there's value in football, then uh, maybe uh, it will be a result of them having seen guys who are daring like Ricardo mm. was coming in and okay. taking a risk yeah. of it. So, yeah. yes, I expect teams are going to strain. Uh, it's expected, but it's an unfortunate situation. <coughs> I really hope that uh, KPL and FKF will be able to, to get uh, some reprieve by yeah. getting maybe yeah. uh, more partners, a TV partner on board. Yeah. Yeah to supplement what SportPesa is, mm -hmm. is, is giving. Mm -hmm. And perhaps if SportPesa, if they can be generous enough actually to increase the their yeah. kitty mm -hmm. for the sake of actually developing the game. Sure. Yes. Okay. Now, um, I mentioned swag and glamour. Yes, new bars, uh, maybe um, new. Th th there's so much about you guys. So maybe what do you expect next season in the KPL? How, guys, uh, how will you guys be packaging yourselves now for the sake of fans, for the sake of even um, just the, the league itself? You know, at the end of the day, um, you'll also be gunning for a continental uh, showpiece. k Sharks came from NSL. They played in the continental uh, showpiece they just did already. Now, do, do you look forward to um, now extend your progress to Africa now? You, first of all, it's not a question of glamour. Mm -hmm. And uh, let me just correct that yeah. a bit. Mm -hmm. it, it's a question of uh, just doing things the way uh, others are doing okay. in, 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 uh, in the developed world, okay. for instance. I think I'm saying, for we, example... We, which, which actually, that's <laughs> what I'm saying, glamour, you said the best. <laughs> Now, yes. uh, the uniqueness, because now when you see teams struggling with uniforms in KPL, yes. it's so sad. Whereby, you, for know, exa yeah. mm -hmm. you know, one, one thing is uh, you might be shocked. I think if anyone was to maybe critically look at the figures in terms of uh, the funding even, uh, you might be shocked that there are teams actually in NSL which are actually better funded than Wazito right now. Yeah. Uh, but it's just a question of choice in terms of what they are doing. Yeah. Uh, what What is the percentage of the uh, budget that goes maybe to us uh, making the player happy? Okay. What percentage is going actually to make sure that the facilities are there mm -hmm. for the players to use? So that's the difference that uh, actually we are we've actually shown.
Because okay. what you are saying is, listen, if, if we are transparent enough and uh, we are actually more or less putting cash to where it will give value yeah. and uh, perhaps use the word give us the glamour yeah. that you are, you are talking about <laughs> it's true that then then maybe mm -hmm. we'll actually be upping the game all yeah. of us mm -hmm. so it's just a wake up call to others mm -hmm. and i i think the footballer administrators needs just to to to, to borrow some yeah. it sure. might be uh the reality is that teams actually which are running a much more higher budget than Ozito okay as it is mm -hmm. but the difference is where the allocation of uh, the funds okay. Okay. Uh, go amazing yeah once again, thank you for coming, Bwana Thanks. Solomon and Bala. We really appreciate. Congratulations for winning the NSL title. And um, KPL is a different ball game. You've mentioned you'll be signing our, our top striker from a top team and <laughs> two defenders from, of course, uh, top teams in the KPL. And just to sum this conversation up, what do you expect in 2020? I think um, the original plan and uh, the ambition. Uh, by 2020 is supposed to be uh, actually we should have won the KPL. Wow. So we were slowed down last year by being relegated. Eh? Okay. Yeah, sure. So we've gone back up. We've gone back up. So I, I think I'm just going back up with the, the, same, same, with the same ambition. Okay. Amazing. Yes. So winning the KPL next season? Yes. Okay. That's perfect. I wish you all the best, bro, because Thank now, you. at the end of the day, it's all about just the resilience and the teamwork. Thank you so much. Thanks. All right. Okay, we'll take a short break right here on Morning Live. When you come back now, we'll be talking more about uh, the Bomber International Strategy Calling because they have so much to offer. So we'll be coming to you after a short break. <laughs>